This video will cover the topic of translating the graph of an exponential function. When translating or shifting a graph of an exponential function, each point on the graph must be translated or shifted the same distance and direction as the function. How do we know what distance and direction to shift the graph? Good question. Graphs can be translated horizontally and or vertically. And we can tell which direction and what amount to shift the graph based on what is being done to the function. Here's what the rules look like in general, treating the variables f and g as functions and a and b as positive real numbers. The following rules cover horizontal translations of the equation y equals g of x. When graphing the equation of y equals g of x plus b, we must shift the graph of the equation y equals g of x left the amount of b units. When graphing the equation of y equals g of x minus b, we must shift the graph of the equation y equals g of x right the amount of b units. That covers cases of horizontal translations. Now on to vertical translations. These rules cover vertical translations of the equation y equals f of x. When graphing the equation y equals f of x plus a, we must shift the graph of the equation y equals f of x up the amount of a units. When graphing the equation y equals f of x minus a, we must shift the graph of the equation y equals f of x down the amount of a units. Okay, I think I get it. Can we look at an example problem now? Say we have the graph of y equals 4 to the power of x, and we are instructed to translate the graph so it will become y equals 4 to the power of x plus 2 plus 1. First, let's start by identifying what kind of translations we are going to make to this graph. Looking at the translated equation, y equals 4 to the power of x plus 2 plus 1, we can see that there are two operations acting on the original equation of y equals 4 to the power of x. 2 is added to the x, and 1 is being added to the function as a whole. Based on the vertical and horizontal translation rules we covered, what is the direction and distance of the translation we are going to apply to the original graph y equals 4 to the power of x? If I remember our rules for identifying vertical and horizontal translations correctly, we can identify that adding 2 to the x inside of the function is going to result in a horizontal translation 2 units to the left. Very good. That is correct. What about adding 1 to the entire function? We can identify that the 1 added to the entire function is going to result in a vertical translation up 1 unit, right? That is correct again. I think you are getting the hang of this topic. Now we know that our graph of the equation y equals 4 to the power of x is going to be translated 2 units to the left and 1 unit up. To give us the new graph of the equation y equals 4 to the power of x plus 2 plus 1. We will finish this problem by taking a point on our original graph of y equals 4 to the power of x, for example the point 0, 1, and translating it 2 units to the left and 1 unit up like so. giving us the new point of negative 2, 2, a new graph, and the final solution to our problem. Let me make sure I understand everything. When we add or subtract a real number on the inside of a function, usually next to the x within the parentheses, it results in a horizontal translation. And when we add or subtract a real number to the entire function, it results in a vertical translation. Exactly!